Welcome back to another video from Garbage Shoot Droids. In one of our last videos, we looked at what it took to actually make some of our really cool wax packs that we sell. But in this video, I want to go inside the wax pack and look at all the different things you can find. Uh, what were the differences between our Series 1 packs, which are the purple and the pink designs, up to our Series 2 packs, which were the blue designs, where we introduced the idea of a hobby versus a collector's pack. And we've even now had two versions of this, our Series 2A and our Series 2B. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at all the different cards you can find inside the different packs. With the release of our third card, our Assassin Droid card, we decided it would be fun to also do wax packs. So, as I was explaining in our last video, I took the time to design a few different uh, wrappers, uh, and we came up with our Series 1 pack. Uh, we have our pink one, which has a lot of reference to, or inspired by, the Garbage Shoot Ah, Garbage Pail Kids design, um, and this purple one, which had a lot of inspiration from the old Star Wars wax packs. Um, but I kind of took my own spin on it and created these two. Um, inside every single one of our Series 1 packs are the exact same nine cards. So when you open up the pack, you'll see a penny sleeve, and inside of them, you'll see nine cards and, th and three stickers. So I we'll have all three of our Bad Motivator base cards, along with the uh, sticker, all three of the Anthony Dangles cards with the sticker, and then all three of the Assassin Droid cards with the sticker. Every single one, regardless of if it's a pink or a purple, will have those nine, but about 80% of them will also have some kind of a hit. A sketch, a metal card, autograph card, we'll go into a lot more of what you can find later in this video, but that was not a guaranteed hit, it was only a chance for one. When it came time to releasing our fourth card, our Deteriorate Ted card, I decided to change up the wax packs a little bit. Uh, realizing that I had a lot of extra wrappers that I wasn't going to use, I came up with the idea to create a pack that had a blank rectangle here. And what that allowed me to do was to use that for either multiple series or multiple purposes. Uh, one of the first things I realized with the uh, first round of packs was people like to collect these and even keep them sealed. Um, and also, there was a lot of money to ask for people to buy the exact same cards inside both of the sets. So what I decided to do was make it a little bit more random. So in every single Series 2 pack, there are seven cards and two stickers. Um, you're always guaranteed, regardless of what series it is, to get the most one of the most recent cards and one of the most recent stickers. So when you take like the Deteriorate Ted, you, and they're two, what I'm now calling 2A, you're guaranteed to get one of these stickers, and you're guaranteed to get at least one of these three cards. But then we also did a whole lot of other random cards. So there's a lot of a chance to get any of the other cards from any of the previous sets, but we also introduced our sketch card and uh, reproduction cards. So from whether it was the artist reproductions or the contest set, which we have some of these, um, every single series two pack will get at least two of these uh, artist reproduction sketches from the most recent series. But as I was saying, one of the things I found out was either people like to keep the pack sealed, um, or just asking um, a lot of money just to open up packs was, you know, a big deal. So we decided to come up with our hobby pack and our collector pack. So our hobby pack, you'll notice, has a sticker of whatever the most recent release was. So in this case, this is our, uh, can be from our 2B set, where this was from our 2A. It has Deteriorate Ted, first in this case, our Chronic Cough ID uh, card. So the difference between these is these will still have your seven cards and your two stickers, but there is no hit in them. There's no sticker, I'm sorry, there's no autograph, there's no sketch card, there's no sets, there's nothing. Um, it's just a way for you to open up packs and get a lot of cards and maybe collect the different sets that we have. Unlike our collector pack, which you'll see every collector pack is numbered, just like on the Series 1 and Series 2, which also have numbers, on the back, in this case on the back, I use that little red rectangle here to number every single card. It is still sealed with a tamper-proof sticker on the back, but what this tells me is that there is a guaranteed hit in here. Um, I... So as I said, with the release of our Series 2 packs, you know, all I mean by that is the Series 2 is our blue wrapper. But with each of the new releases, I've been calling them Series 2A or Series 2B. So Series 2A would be anything related to our Deteriorate Ted release, where Series 2B would be anything related to our Chronic Cough release. So again, you get the same 
seven cards, two stickers, uh, but with each release, you're guaranteed the newest card. So again, in 2A, where you're guaranteed a sticker and a card for Deteriorate Ted, our Series 2B, you're guaranteed one of the Chronic Cough stickers and one of the base cards in there, as well as two reproduction sketch cards from the most recent set of either artist or contest set. So again, it's the same idea, but it's just all the new updated cards. So I keep mentioning hits or guaranteed hits. Well, what I mean by that is, you know, again, whether it's the chance in your Series 1 pack or you're guaranteed in your Series 2 collector packs, you can get a variety of different things. Um, some things you can get are sketch cards. These are original hand-drawn sketch cards, not reproductions. Um, and these are some of the few that when we did our Series 1 cards, I didn't have them in hand, so I put uh, um, redemption cards in there. So it would say, you know, good for one redemption of a Nick Mugley sketch or a Brent Scottsmore sketch. And they all have different codes on them. So these are actually some of the ones that have yet to be redeemed. Um, and you can see I have each one of them labeled. So this is an M5, sorry, an M2. Um, so, you know, if somebody pulls that redemption sketch card for the Nick Mugley 2, this is the card. You know, if they were to pull... This one here is my BS4, so that's for Brent Sconchfer. He, you know, he did these. If you pull that redemption card, you can get these. You also can get metal cards. Um, I have a mix of both my original medals, and then what we did was we made reprint medals. So I'm all sold out of, say, the original Adam 5 D4 uh, metal card, but I made a handful of reprint ones. It's the exact same card, except it just has that little reprint sticker there. And um, there's also a very, very few amount of not just our regular, but our special super metals where you can see it has the uh, design built into it so you can find a lot of different metal cards in there um, you also in our I believe it's just in our series one um, Adam Goldberg uh, if you're familiar with Adam F Goldberg from the Goldbergs he did a couple of signed cards uh, here's one for example that you can get so these were from his original Garbage Pail Kid um, Goldberg's uh, cards from the I hate the 80s set that uh, he signed for me um, then we have some different Really cool Brent autographed um, refractor uh, airbrush stickers. Um, we have, you know, if you wanted to get some OS1 cards. Um, these are not them, obviously. They're in the packs. But um, we have some Evil Eddie, Adam Bomb, Blasted Billy, and Nasty Nick cards inside some of the wax packs. Other things you could find. Uh, in the most recent Series 2B, a really cool set of, this is a actual mini wax box with some mini wax packs for uh, with mini cards a whole set of them you can even find action figures some really cool this is my bad motivator action figure he is for sale separately uh, both in regular as well as mini size um, the mini can come loose or carded um, actually another cool thing with the action figures is they all come with their an exclusive card for example this is an exclusive uh, bad motivator action figure card um, I actually did randomly insert a few of the action figure cards. They don't count as hits. They're just random cards, um, but you could find those as well. But you can see there's a lot of different things that you can find um, in the wax packs. And I try to mix it up every release. Um, in the Series 2A, we had a box of Chrome 3 Garbage Pail Kids, which has been redeemed uh, by now. Uh, but I try to do it so there's actually some really cool things you can find in there. So there you have it. Hopefully this video helped explain the difference between our Series 1 and then our Series 2 A and B, as well as our uh, Hobby vs. Collector packs. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing any of them, our Series 1 packs are still available. I have a few limited quantities of those. They are $13 um, per pack. Um, you can also get our Series 2, either A or B uh, packs. I do have a little bit of Series A left, but the Hobby packs are $5 for one, 3 for 12 or 5 for $17.50. And our Series 2 A or B collector packs, I guess I only have a few of the Series A collector packs left, um, but those go for $17.50 each. Um, they're also in certain common combos that you can get. I have a wax pack combo, a starter set combo, where you can get a Series 1 with some of the base sets. You know, I'll, you, know you can look at all the different options on our website or on our Facebook and Instagram, um, or just hit me up and I'm happy to uh, make a deal or a package up for you. So let me know. Hopefully you like this video. And more to come. Thank you very much.